Hello everyone, it's me, MT10 Hooligan, formerly known as Two Wheels Too Fast. Which is a bit of a shit name really, but you know, fucking all the other names are taken, so what do you want from me? Yeah, this is a one year ownership review of a 2016 Yamaha MT10. So what do I like about this bike? Well, the engine. The engine is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just, you know, you can see there the bars start to wobble because the front wheel's lifting up. Yeah, the way Yamaha have geared this bike, it's geared quite low. First and second gear are almost identical, which speed-wise. This bike handles really well, I've noticed. It can be when you're when you're flying along, it can be a little a little bit sort of spongy, as in the whole bike slowly compresses and decompresses. But then, you know, how often are you going, you know, absolutely flat out? Not very often, occasionally. So I love the engine on this bike, it's it's absolutely gorgeous, it's an inline four cylinder with a lot of character, tons of character. Um, this one, I've decatted it and I haven't mapped it, because, you know, getting anything mapped nowadays is a nightmare. You know, people want £600 for an ECU flash, not even a power commander, you know. Yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> this engine is amazing. I mean, it's it's got all you would need for the road. And more. Once you get near that red line, oh my God, it just, it, you know, unless you're a professional racer, you're never gonna need more than this bike on the road. wheelies in full gear. What's this? Full gear, just power. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, so the brakes. People say the brakes are not very good on this bike. And I have to agree with that. I think I've still got the original brake pads in the bike and they're, they're not great. I think it's the initial bite is a bit lacking. Once you get past the initial bite, the brakes are adequate enough, I find. But my God, that engine, I mean, it's just, it's just so much fun to ride this bike. It really is a hooligan tool. Okay, let's get to the bad points of this bike. Number one is the throttle. The throttle is very snatchy at times. It's not so bad once you're moving along, you know, once you get you're up to speed. But in slow in slow moving traffic and going through a town at 30 miles an hour it can be a little bit sort of jerky on and off of course the standard seat <laughs> so that's been an issue I've had to uh, I bought the Yamaha comfort seat which wasn't comfortable so then I've had to send off my original seat to get that redone 
and I'm, I'm still not happy with that to be honest so that's an issue is seats yeah, if you get one of these and you and you want more comfort don't go for the Yamaha comfort seat it's rubbish go with a, a Corbin or something along those lines so yeah I mean wheelie wise this bike will clutch up in third easily it will easily go up in third gear Um, if you're sort of down to under half a tank I would say you can fairly easily lift it in fourth gear okay so another another bad point is you you want to ride this bike like it's stolen you know it's just it's not really too happy at low speeds going through towns at 30 mile an hour it doesn't quite like that especially because I've decatted the bike it just doesn't like it. it it prefers you know it gets hot quite easily so I mean it's only about nine degrees today so it's fairly cold but um, on a sunny day if I was going this speed and it was you know 25 degrees the bike would be getting red hot yeah, I can see why Yamaha probably sell more of these than they do R1s because to, to me, you know, I, I grew up on sports bikes you know, this is a uh, bike number 23 or 24 so I've had 23 or 24 other bikes <laughs> fucking hell what's your second gear? slight crisp Yeah, where was I? <laughs> so, yeah, last video I was out on the bikes. I was on my ZZR 1400. I sold that and bought a BMW S1000R. Yeah, it's a good bike. I, I watched a few reviews on YouTube, some comparisons, you know, S1000R versus MT10. And, you know, typical YouTube bike review people like bike world and you know these guys got no skill they can't ride for shit really they were saying oh yeah, yeah the, the s1000 is equal to the mt10 well after having owned them both they're not equal the mt10 in terms of power feel on the bike aggressiveness fun factor get an mt10 don't even look at don't even look at an S1000R. There's no comparison. If you're looking for a fun bike, um, don't believe what they tell you. The, the, the S1000R has got nothing on this M210. This is a league above the S1000R. The S1000, the throttle was better and it was a more refined motorcycle. This, you can tell they built this on a budget so they saved a bit of money on a few things here and there and it and it kind of shows on the bike. See, it's times like that when you're cornering mid-corner and you go over a bump you get that sort of, the whole bike bounces up and down and it's sort of a bit, bit floaty This is one of those bikes, it doesn't take long to feel at home. So, after jumping off of this and onto a Motostrada, it felt bizarre. It really did feel bizarre. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could do it without wanting to go back to the MT10. Really? 
Willy for your Willy. God, look at the state of these roads. That's what happens when you let women into government. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, so this is my MT10. It's a 2016. I bought it pretty much bog standard. Put some headlight covers, a tinted screen. I did the uh, Aquapovic can with a Leo Vinci link pipe. Towel tidy, custom seat and a quick shifter. That's all that's gone on it. 